you don't want to be a business owner and find yourself one day trying to open for whatever your type of business is and the lights go off. As many as 50 tenants in Cincinnati's iconic Karoo Tower could face that exact situation nine days from now. Tenants received this letter today. Please be advised that Duke Energy plans to disconnect the electric service to the Karoo Tower building after 12 p.m. on Wednesday, February 10th. It's the last thing that we want to do is, is potentially disconnect someone, but we felt like it was only right to make sure tenants in the facility were aware that there could be disruption to their service. Spokeswoman Sally Thielen says the notice was in the interest of public safety. Disruption is a last resort, but one they'll use if the payments aren't caught up by next week. Building management also sent a letter to tenants today saying in part, as a responsible owner, Carew Realty Incorporated is working with Duke Energy on this situation. We fully expect a resolution of this potential issue in the next few days. Greg Power, the CEO of Belvedere Corporation, which owns Carew Tower and the Hilton Hotel in the building, wouldn't tell us how far behind they are. He says occupancy at the hotel is way down due to COVID, meaning revenue is way down as well. We fully believe that um, he's making every good faith effort um, to resolve this matter. And, you know, it's a very unfortunate situation that we um, got to this point. And the owner of the building told me seven tenants have moved out during the pandemic. He said he fully expects to pay the agreed upon amount to avoid disconnection. We're live downtown tonight. Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5. All right.